Aiko Ben Emmanuel, and I'm the proprietor of Lion Events, an event and decoration uh, service provider. Naturally, I found I liked organizing things. I would, whenever there's this, uh, something that comes up, I would get myself uh, contributing at the organization, clearing the places, and working like I like working behind scenes. And I thought it was just a simple role to play. But with time, I discovered um, everywhere I went, they would entrust me with bigger opportunities of uh, organizing, taking church conferences and every other thing. Then with time, I got into concerts and uh, performance organization, which uh, was partly out of fun and also the monetary bit of it. And then after a few years down the road, this journey has been like for between around 2014 up to around 2020 is when I discovered most of the times when I have a function or a, a, an event to organize, there are aspects that are missing, things that make me dig into my pocket and hire from somewhere. Yet I would have done them under the same roof and it would have helped my work easier. Then when I gave time to study uh, the market, especially here in Arua, I discovered there were some loopholes that needed to be fixed and uh, with the passion and the drive and exposition I believe we could bridge this gap and uh, provide a better service than what is on the ground. First of all I must thank the organizers for this course because I'm enjoying myself already. Enjoying myself in a positive way that uh, I'm, I'm learning. I had uh, assumptions as we got into this business and uh, there were a lot of assumptions which actually, with the continuity of the course, I'm sorting myself out and I'm seeing a better structure. First of all, structure for the business. Um, things like uh, the assumptions we had about customers thinking everyone was our customer. Yet now, uh, through the business and the courses, I'm, I'm trying to sort exactly where my niche is. Um, things like uh, the, 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 the tunnels of customer acquisition, how to maintain and um, which ones and what else to do. I'm, I'm Actually, as we go along, I'm practicing already some of them. And I was doing some that I didn't know I was doing. I'm now sorting, ah, this one falls in this category. This one falls in this category. But the overall is, uh, um, I believe it will make me a better business person and also point me to uh, areas which I can study more and improve upon because uh, we keep getting instructions and leads. They tell us you can go to this website and get this, you can acquire this material and learn more of this. So however short it may be, at the end of it, I know I'll be able to uh, go to a few other places they have directed me to. Then my teammates, we have already started getting connections and markets and leads. So it's an all-round benefit uh, from this uh, course that we're undergoing. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you, Benny Manuel here. <coughs> Lion Events. Uh, your one-stop event service provider in Arua City. Um, three years ago, I had a function that I was handling. I've been in events from around 2014, but I've been specifically handling Christian gospel concerts, but uh, three years ago, we had one of the biggest artists at that time, and currently he's still one of the good gospel artists, that's Levinson. I was tasked to organize this concert in Arua. Uh, we were to have a blanket and wine kind of concept, and uh, for the first time, take it to Kerry Park. And in our preparation for this concert, we sub-hired uh, event managers in Arua and we needed to use some of their materials. To cut the story short, that very time some things happened in Arua and some of the people we were hiring from decided to divide the equipment so that they will not lose on the money. They gave us part equipment and took it to other places. By the time we were done with the concert, we made a, 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 a four million loss and it hurt me so bad. It took around six months for me to recover from that loss because everything had been invested in this business. We had paid the artist six million and then other things plus costs. So I asked myself, I am gifted in arts and I love events. Why can't I look into this to see to that we have better services in Arua? 
I went back to school. I en enrolled in YWCA. I did floor arrangement and decoration. I put myself under self events to understand how they do their concerts. And I was doing uh, practicals with Sandy Events, one of the biggest events managers in Kampala, who is behind one of his big artists and others. And um, the challenges we find and that I face, because I use myself and talk to a few other people, whenever you are doing events and organizing functions, there's so much pressure and stress. People don't see it because when visitors come, they don't know that the function owner or the event owner goes through so much before the final. Sometimes they go through so much when we look at, let's say, ladies who organize their traditional marriages and weddings. They cry at night. They are stressed if the resources and everything doesn't come. To, we have very funny cultures. The in-laws are stressing you. This one is happening and there's so much behind the scenes. And uh, that stress is real. The prices have not been friendly. You have been delaying delivery. You have witnessed maybe you go for a function. It's time for the guests to arrive, but they are still tying the final curtain and they are still pushing the chair. And it, that one takes time. Um, many of the decorations are repetitive, I would say mundane, because there is a way in which the pricing is done and uh, they will carry the same design that was here and take it to that one, only the difference will be the color. So I asked myself, why can't we do something different? Arua is lagging behind, West Nile is lagging behind while the country is moving ahead and is leaving us behind. And the solution will be timely delivery, creative and trendy. I use the word, I chose the word trendy purposely so that we bring something that is bulk, that is happening right now, not that uh, things that are supposed to be the way they are when we are moving on in a digital era. Affordable, unique and tailored. Tailored because uh, different clients uh, have different dreams. They have different expectations. I always challenge my clients that do something that your children, when it's their time, they will be challenged. Because they will look at you and they'll say, hey, my parents also and so tried. Uh, so we help those seeking for professional, yet affordable event management services by offering them creative, trendy solutions designed to relieve stress, create beautiful memories, and save clients valuable time. This is one of my, this, she was one of my first clients. <laughs> I chose it perfectly, I wanted to make you smile. She's the hustle queen, I know her personally, she works so hard. So that day, it was her birthday, we decided to do something for her. And uh, also Glowy Honey was also one of my first clients, I handled something for her. We have events planning, management, venue decoration, equipment hire services curated to each client's taste. You can see these are two, these are the same type of designs but differently. Because the other one chose gold, white, while she chose black, white and red. We decide to do it as the client wants. Um, my total available ma markets have clients from Eastern Congo, uh, DRC, South Sudan and West Nile. Zeroing it down, West Nile region. We are, my, my, my next two events, one is at Zombo, one will be at Ajumani, and then targeting Arua City. And I wouldn't break it much. Um, we offer both physical and virtual services. Physically, because ours, we are doing service. After consultations, we have to deliver practically. So virtually, we also have uh, gifts that we uh, we get orders for online and every other. We uh, arrange at times, we don't meet these clients physically. They make their orders, especially like Valentine's Day, Christmas, we tell you, we need this type of flower, drop it like this. We just interact virtually. They put the money in, we, we send. Uh, we have our venue uh, display shop at Social Center. We are next to him. Um, we handle concerts and performances. The last one was Levickson when he came around, around Valentine's Day, we did that. And then um, during the lockdown, we handled two gospel concerts. Uh, we were testing virtual concerts for two artists. And uh, we are ready. We, um, yeah, that is it. We are time bad. How do we uh, handle our clients? We, we, we interact social media, online communities, repros, 
My last function I did last weekend was pro bono. It was free, but it ended up bringing me two more clients because I offered free services. Someone saw the work and came. I got two clients from there. We designed a few of these that we give to our clients and uh, some people from here have benefited from. Uh, next, we have uh, we are targeting radios, trade shows, uh, building on our website. We have a Facebook page. We have uh, WhatsApp that you can contact us on. Yeah, peak seasons. Okay, one minute please. Peak seasons, uh, we can go up to between 1.5 to 3 million in net. That is around Christmas and festivities. And uh, on off seasons, between 500, 800, and net, that is a month. But it covers the costs. Uh, it costs go to equipment, rent of office, salary, wages, transportation, and others. Um, competition, as mentioned before, uh, this is the challenge I faced, and which I believe many people are facing. And then we offered those solutions, timely delivery, uh, office space. Many of my competitors operate from home. The cut costs they have in their garages and others, but I decided to open up a place where I can meet my clients and we interact. The achievements we have a number of equipment that is not enough, we are registered, and uh, we hope to acquire more and hire more professional people. Uh, visit us, check our social media pages, send us clients, referrals, we will appreciate. My staff, Jimmy handles marketing, a Dewey. Joel is in charge of the decoration and the field. Uh, I have Susan who handles the flowers on top. In any case, any other floral arrangement. Uh, the one in red uh, volunteered. She came to learn because she has an interest in this business. And that is me managing as much as I can. Lion Events, <laughs> Social Center. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? How much I can't tell. Curated. Yeah. Yeah. We'll look at your budget and see what we can make for you after consultation. Mm. Because we don't have a fixed price for that. Crazy problem. As it low depends. as 50,000, as much as 70 million extra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs>